I'm Patrick O'Neill and I'm chair of the Department of Politics and Government and what we have on the screen is the blog for the Department of Politics and Government. A blog is a place where it can just be a huge dump for information. You can just put everything in there. Internship opportunities, job opportunities, updates from alums, stuff that's going on on campus, events that might be uh, valuable to anyone. If you have resources that you want to share with students, how do you sort of create a single space where they're there and that students can go to them and faculty can go to them and that they're, they have a long shelf life? Even if you're communicating those to students by word of mouth or face to face or by email, you're not archiving them. So you're not really creating a repository that you can refer back to. So people graduate, they go out, they do cool things, but like a year or two years after they've graduated, you know, people lose track of them, you don't have their email addresses anymore. And the other thing that was a, a problem or I thought was a limitation of the department, and it's true I think across all departments, is just a really inconsistent and fragmentary relationship with our alums. How do you reach all those people? And I thought, well, just try with a blog. Since you're doing a blog and it's in the politics and government department, then this is going to be great because it's going to be this great political blog where we're going to spend all this time like arguing about politics. And that's the one thing that it's not. If you use the blog as a, a place for, for a soapbox, um, the first thing that will happen is that you're, you're just going to kill it. But really what it's meant to be is a place that feels really friendly. And I, and I think about Arches, which is very much like that too, where everybody feels like they can come in. It tells them something about their school. Um, there's lots of different people, maybe people doing the sorts of things they wouldn't do or maybe don't like, but they feel like it's something that connects them. So here was this thing again too where you have these alums going back 40, 50 years and in some cases you know they go back way longer um, than the memories of anyone in the department and we didn't have any connections to them. Since I don't know these people they'll say I've been reading the blog for a year and a half it's great you know I've never communicated with you but I want to tell you that I'm this person and that's what I've been doing. Here's the post that I put up this morning and essentially I like this post because it's it's living proof of what I think of as the success of the blog. It's a recap of a couple of emails that I got out of the blue. Both of those individuals were people that I, I didn't know. Both of them just emailing me out of the blue and saying, you know, I've been reading the blog for a long time and just want to tell you, you know, who I am and what I've been doing. Mark Scott, a class of 74, worked for years and years inside the National Security Agency and was doing... Uh, uh, code breaking during the Cold War. Barb Hunter, class of 77, she spent years working in the Air Force and now she's a civilian contractor inside the Pentagon. She's doing a lot of work with um, the science and engineering side of the Air Force. She emailed me because I'd had a post up about another alum from the department, class of 77, who's a, a top ranking official in the Air Force. And she said, you know, here's another person in the Air Force in the same building I'm in, my same major, my graduate the same year I did, and, you know, and I had no idea. I mean, just amazing experience that these people had. If the blog's successful, then you have people like that who are generating material that I get to put up there, and then they become contacts. So, you know, who owns this thing? Well, whoever has the password. It's not licensed by the university. It's branded with a logo that I made in Photoshop, which is a manipulation of the university seal, but is not the university seal, because I didn't want the university to kind of get mad. I mean, this pales in comparison to Facebook. Right? Facebook is this enormous replication of the university that the university has no control over. There are virtual representations and replications of the university, many of which are beyond the control of the university itself. So the university has to deal with that. And we build our own website, well, somebody builds a social network and absorbs all of our students. What are you going to do now? So we also have a student alum FAQ of frequently asked questions. I essentially asked alums if they would contribute answers and we built this around a wiki. So we have a blog and we have a wiki because we have to have everything. Uh, we have a link out. Professor Weinberger in the department has his own blog where he talks about international relations. We have a link to that. Then we have an alum blog role. Ten blogs up here by PG alums. We have a little quote from the Tacoma News Tribune because they have a blog and they once blogged about our blog, so then we blogged about them blogging about our blog. And now it gets very confusing after a while. We have, we have products. We sell things through Cafe Press. We have t-shirts that we've designed, coffee mugs that we've done. If you scroll down a little bit further, we have a, a little widget that takes you to our Flickr site. There's always an ever-changing series of photographs. How many photos? I don't know. We have a lot of photos on here. Photos from alums, pictures of graduations, of trips that faculty make. We have a uh, about 100 pictures here from a trip that Professor Fields took to Japan last year, posters that we've done for past events, 
holiday parties that we've had. We had an alum gathering in DC, someone who's on Peace Corps in Guyana, someone who's just started law school, someone who works for CNET. And yeah, it, there are 600 photos on here, so there's a lot of stuff. And of course, we, we, you know, things wouldn't be complete unless we had a Facebook page. So that's the blog, kind of in a very long description.